Hi everybody, it is February 10th. I just got home from work. Um, I left a bit early tonight. Um, I'm usually there till 11. Um, I had a bit of a backache, so they let me leave a couple hours early um, just to come home and put some ibuprofen and uh, use a hot pack and make sure, you know, tomorrow it's okay. Cause sometimes, you know, you get a backache and, um, you know, it can go away or not go away per se, but you know, cause I don't want to, you know, have to go to the ER and all that stuff if I don't have to. Cause you know, in, in healthcare, they always make you do that and, you know, make sure it's okay. So I'm like, I just want to go home and try some ibuprofen first. And of course it's my 40th birthday today. And I want to thank all you guys for, you know, the well wishes. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm still in my scrubs and my hair and everything is, you know, I should get a haircut. Like I told you guys before, I always wanted to try to grow it out longer and see what it looked like. And now it's like, you know, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And, uh, the ride home was not good. They said, I know they said a few inches of snow, but it's like, I think we probably already got four, which doesn't seem like a lot. It's funny how sometimes four inches can seem like nothing. And then other times it's like, you know, it's still coming down. So I think we're getting more than three or four inches, but yeah, the roads were terrible. It's like, even with four by four sliding and, you know, it's like, and the winter time, I think uh, stoplights and stuff should be, uh, I think the timer should be longer, you know, in between the, uh, get, oh, I can't even talk, the yellow and the red, because it's like once, you know, I almost slid through, um, you know, and you just, it's, you just have that automatic instinct, you know, when it's turning red, you, you know, you hit your brakes and stuff and you know in these conditions when it's like that the roads were just you know and they haven't really been plowed yet you know I mean there's some but it's coming down too fast so anyways here I'm getting you know my ranting again and you know uh, yeah I just got on here anyways uh, like I said I just want to thank you guys for the birthday wishes um, I stopped to the dollar store Dollar Tree um, a few minutes before work. I thought I had more time, but you know how that is. You always get behind cars and lights turn red and, you know, so I only had like 15 minutes. So I couldn't look as much as I wanted to. So I wanted to get in there today, but I'm, I am Monday off. So I'm going to go over there Monday to look around, see what they have, if they have anything new. And I want to go over to um, the Hobby Lobby because I want to see if they still have. I know you guys were all, all doing, I think it was 75% off. I just want to see what they have for clearance there, if there's anything left. So I've only been there once since they opened. Because we got one in Plattsburgh now. Um, I can't... I think it might... It's either four or six months they opened here. Uh, I just wanted to show you a few things that I got at the dollar store. Because they have some new stickers. At least I've never seen them. So I wanted to show you guys. Because you know how fast the really nice stickers go. I stopped at the Dollar General the other day, too, and I got, um, I just got three things there. I got a couple more sets of the, um, the magnets. They fit great in pocket letters. So I picked up a couple more of those, you know, a, a little treat to put in the bag. So I got a couple more of those. And then I'm always looking at the stickers and stuff, and I actually found these. These were a dollar. Uh, you get 75 foam stickers. I didn't see these before, so it's funny. It's like it's almost Valentine's. Today's the tenth, so four more days, and you know you still you'll still find stuff that they put out. I don't know if they forget about it or if it came in late, but this one has little cupcakes in it. Yeah, you, you have to look because they have two different kinds. Um, they, they both came with the flowers and the little hearts and the hearts with wings. I know it's hard to see, but this one came. Uh, this one came with the little cupcakes too. The other ones didn't. The other one didn't have it, so I'm not sure. Whoop. You can see the little cupcake there. So I got that one. I was going to get two, but I just picked up the one there. So If they have any on clearance at the end of the season, or if you want to call it season, Valentine's season, I'll pick up, you know, some more. I picked up this bag. I'm sure you guys can guess who. Virginia's hubby, V.C. Connors. Oh, before I forget... Well, let me just tell you this first. Yeah, I picked that up for him. I'm sure I saw it there at the Dollar Tree. Um, I always look at the reusable bags now. I'm sure you guys have sent him a hundred of these, but they're reusable, so you know he can. I'm not sure. If he, I'm sure he's got this one. But 
Yeah, I saw that there. I thought of him, so I picked that up for him. I'll send that in the next letter. Um, but I'll show you that stuff in a minute. I forgot. I checked my P.O. box again the other day. I sent out a package to the Dazzling Duchess. I sent out a package to... Um, actually, I wrote it in my planner so you guys can be on the lookout. I sent one to the Dazzling Duchess. I sent one to K is for Karen. I have this planner thing now I wrote down. It's just nice to write down. Uh, and I sent a package out to Amy. Of Amy's got a glue gun, of course. And I sent a pocket letter to Gail Mora. So you guys can be on the lookout for that. And I sent a pocket letter out the other day to Bonnie Myers. Um, but anyways, while I was there, I checked my P.O. box. And I got a, um, I got a card, a birthday card, all the way from Canada. It's funny, it's like I never expected anything out of the United States, and I, you know, you guys know I watch your videos, your old videos and stuff. Like I said, it feels like I'm sitting with a friend, you know, watching you guys, having a cup of coffee. I was watching Virginia. I know you guys, other of you ladies have gotten uh, mail from, you know, Germany and stuff like that, but I think she got it from, I think it was Australia. I was like, wow. Uh, um, so yeah, this is from Heather Baines. I looked up the name earlier before I went to work. Because I knew I wanted to get on and show you guys. I think she goes by the Dork in Shorts. Please let me know if I'm wrong. But I want to thank her. I love that name, by the way, the Dork in Shorts. Please, I, I'm, you know, they have the same name, so I'm hoping. <laughs> I mean, she, I haven't, I just opened it. Like you guys, I don't peek first, so maybe she'll tell me inside. <gasps> oh, yep, the Dork in Shorts, <laughs> and it's handmade. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at the keys. I think I might frame that. That is gorgeous. You know, I love to read and stuff, and it just reminds you, reminds me of something that would go with like in an old library, you know, like the men's library or whatever. David, wishing you a very happy birthday. Have a wonderful day. Big Heather. Big, big Heather. Big hugs, Heather B. The dork in shorts. Look how pretty that is. Someday I hope to make cards like that. Thank you so much, Heather. I'll um, link her channel. I'm pretty sure she's got a channel. I have to make sure I'm subscribed to it. I'm pretty sure I am, but I just, you know, because I had to look up the name earlier because I don't didn't know the name, you know, when you use the names on there, so... I'll have to um, make sure I'm subscribed to her channel. I just want to thank you so much for that. And um, and I'll uh, link it. Oh, my goodness. With the weather. And you guys know how I am anyways. I'm flighty. So, you know, I always have to blame it on something. The weather, the work, you know, whatever. But, oh, and I wanted to show you guys another thing I did the other day. I was going to send this out to somebody. I was like, ah, you know, like I told you guys, I lo love making these pocket letters now. And uh, I made an Easter one already. I was going to send it out to someone. I didn't know who, but, uh, you know, I'm like, is it too early? So if I send you guys, like, stuff or, I don't know, I could be in the mood in June to make a Christmas one. So let me know if that upsets anybody to get a pocket letter of Christmas in June. Because <laughs> they're just so fun to make. So, like I said, sometimes I just, you know, make what I have or make what I have. Use what I have. You know what you guys think of that. Um, Amy's got a glue gun. She gave me these little, um, in the pocket letter she sent me, these little um, stickers here. So I used them for this because she had made me that um, um, with the seasons pocket letter. Or the holidays, I mean. She did Christmas and Easter. I hated taking the stuff out of the bag, but she's like, that's what it's for. You're supposed to use it. You know, they're treats and stuff, so. That's just waiting to mail to somebody. And then on the back, I started to put a few things in the back. I didn't put any real treats in there yet. So, But yeah, these are those magnets I was just showing you guys. So they fit perfect. So I just stuck one of those. And those are, the, I think these are from the Dollar Tree. Those are just a little um, um, ugh, notepads. So they fit perfect. I think they're a package of eight. 
So yeah, I made an Easter one. Sorry, I was only going to come on here and show you guys like uh, what I got at the dollar store, but you know, I, like I said, I feel like I'm talking to friends, even though I'm talking to the camera right now. I know you guys will watch, just you'll watch it later, but it's like me when I watch you guys on there, even if it's like you done it six months ago, I still feel like I'm sitting there with you. I just started this one. I haven't put anything in it yet, but I just started that one last night. Like I said, it's like I, I, whoever thought I would got would get into pocket letters like this, but I want this to be a little more fancy. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in there, but you know, I did the little paper then with the um, what do you call them on the front. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't have the time. You know, you put them under things. So yeah, I started that one. I haven't done much with it yet. But anyways, doilies, that's what it is. I had to look at my table, all that, all that stuff on there. How many of you guys keep a craft table in your bedroom when you got two other bedrooms? <laughs> when I move into a new place, I want two bedrooms at least so I can, you know, but... Yeah, I have my TV, I've told you guys, in here and all this stuff. So it's kind of my sanctuary, my room. I got a um, lazy boy chair over there and bookcases and, you know, it's a big room. So, yeah, I just kind of, you know, when you live alone, sometimes you're like, ah, you know, I just have the lights on in here. Why waste the electricity in all the other rooms? But anyway, I stopped to the Dollar Tree. Um, there was some other stuff I wanted to get. I've seen people haul, but we haven't, they didn't have it there yet. I picked up this. It's actually up near the front. I haven't seen this one yet. I got it for friend mail. I'm not sure who I'm going to send it to. Or you know, it's lemon verbena and mint. I thought that smelled, or not smell, but sounded good. You know, I love lemon. I mean, I could use it myself, but I got it for friend mail. I didn't get get a chance to look in the aisle where they usually are, but I saw it up front by the checkout. Someone must have dropped it, so I was like, oh, I'll grab it. You know. So I grabbed that for friend mail. Um. And you guys know I collect salt and pepper shakers, so I saw these there, the little chicks. I mean, I probably have 50 different chicks, but you know how it is. They're different, so I picked up those. Uh, and then I got some of the fairy stuff. I was hoping to find the fairy um, little people and stuff. I've seen people haul, but they haven't got it yet. Um, and a lot of the other stuff. I showed you guys the Christmas thing I did in those, um, uh, what do you call those red things? the lanterns you know where you can put stuff in i showed you guys what i did for the christmas one and it's still in there i haven't really changed it or anything but i'm like i was trying to figure out flower pots and what i could put into them to do these fairy gardens so i was like oh i can probably use those because i have one in my craft room i never used yet i got them at michael's i think i told you guys when i had the 250 percent off coupons and i got them for i think i paid 25 a piece or something like that so i figured i could do this little village so i picked up this the little windmill. Like I said, I was looking for... I picked up some of the houses and stuff last year, but this year I've seen you guys haul. They had little, like, different things in the packages, all different from last year. Like, I want to get the little one where it's reading the little fairy. She's reading and all that stuff. And then they have, like, mailboxes set in uh, little bird baths and um, some other, you know, a bunch of other stuff people have showed. But I got this. I'm hoping they get it in. I asked the girl there. She said she hasn't seen any. So whether they got them in and they're gone already or they haven't put them out or haven't got them or if they will get them. Because, you know, sometimes even though it's a, uh, yeah, it's a green briar product, you know, sometimes they don't get them. But I'm going to go back Monday and check. That was the little bridge. Oh, I forgot. I got the little sign too. And then I picked up two of these. I thought these were cute. The little benches. Or the little table, you know, I picked up two. That way, in case I do two two um, different ones in the, um, those lanterns. So I picked up two of those. You know, because they're so damn cute, the little, you know, I love, I you know, well, you guys know I love miniatures. So I like anything like it looks like a fairy would actually go sit on. Or like I said, that the little mailboxes and, you know, just all that stuff. The little signs and, you know, so I'm hoping they get the other collection in. I was looking for Easter stickers. Oops, sorry. 
Yeah, I was looking for Easter stickers there, and I didn't see any yet. They just had the big ones, you know, and stuff like that. Unless I'm sending them in a friend mail, they're, you know, they're not really meant for pocket letters. But I keep buying these now every time I see them, too, for, um... Oh, these ones are all different. Just so you guys know, these ones are all different, the Easter ones. I keep picking these up, these little stampers, for every holiday now. Um says happy easter there's a flower some flowers the um butterfly little rabbit's feet an egg another egg a little chick and a rabbit they're all different usually you get two of each kind in here so i picked up those i actually have i don't know if i can just grab them and show you guys but Yeah, I bought this little, I had this little case from the dollar store, so I've been putting him in. So I think I got the Christmas ones, I got the Halloween ones in here, I got Christmas, Halloween, Valent and Valentine's in here. So now I can put the Easter ones in there. I haven't really used them too much left, left, yet. But you know how it is. You know, when you start to craft, you buy all that stuff, even if you don't use it right off. So, you know, they're just cute. I mean, for a dollar, for that many stampers. And they usually do work well. It depends how hard you press on them, because then you can get the, like, the little outside, you know, areas. But I picked up this, too, for friend mail. For, um, you know, they're just the erasers. Or I might, like you guys do, um, glue some onto paper clips. Yeah, thought, thought these were cute. Everybody loves chicks. You know, the little chicks, they're the little racers. So I picked up those. And then I think it's just the. Just. Oh, I picked up some more gel pens. You guys know I love gel pens. They're just the black ink. You know, anytime I already know, I love how smooth they write. I can't believe this video is almost 18 minutes already. Sorry, you guys. I thought I was just going to get on here, but you know me. I like the blab, so. Sorry, let me just put this stuff away. So yeah, I found some new stickers there. I mean, they're new to me. I haven't seen them, but you guys, I mean, I think I might have seen well, maybe not. I don't think I've seen any of them, at least not in my Dollar Tree. But I found these. I don't it's hard to see. They're white. How many do you get? You get 12. I was hoping they'd have color ones too, but they didn't. So they're um, they're just white flowers with little crystals in the middle. I love the 3D stickers now and stuff. When I'm doing the pocket letters, that you know, like you guys know, of course, it adds contrast and stuff. Like if I use a flat sticker and then you know one of these and some washi tape and um, ribbon and um, it just adds dimension. It's kind of cool, you know, just to you know. And then I found these. I think I've seen these before, but I didn't buy them. I think that they were, um, they were, no, they had different sayings, and the sayings were kind of like, not too personal, but you know, I didn't want to send somebody that I don't really know, you know. I mean, these ones aren't too bad, like, I love you, you know, I mean, which is still personal, but love you always. Uh, I love the little typewriter there. I know it's hard to see with the love, faith, you know, uh, love is a, a faith that dreams will come and grow old with me. Oh, the best is yet to be. Oh, I guess these were the ones I saw before that I thought were a little too personal. I just want to thank you for being my reason to look forward to the next day forever and always. Well, the love I can probably use on a pocket letter and stuff. Yeah, some of them are a little bit, you know, maybe I'll use on my for my mother. <laughs> You know, or something. Yeah, I think these were the ones I saw before. I thought were a little too personal. You know, if you know what I mean. You know, grow old with me. You know, it's kind of like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> unless you're actually seeing somebody, you know, it's kind of weird in the pocket letter. But, you know, I mean, there's things I could cut off and whatever. But anyways, I got those. And then they had these ones here. Love and cherish. I cherish you. I guess you, you could probably send those to a friend in a pocket letter. I mean, you know, you cherish your friends. Cherish the little things. 
uh, cherish every memory, love every moment, embrace every possibility. That's pretty for a friend, you know, or whatever. So th these ones are more. Look, there's a little birdhouse. Yeah, I haven't seen, I saw those ones, but I didn't see these before. So I know some Dollar Trees, you know how it is. They, you know. Oh, I got two of these. I, I put two of those in my cart. And then I found these. I end up buying... I end up getting... Let me see... Okay, here we go. I end up buying three of these. I loved these. You guys know I love the mason jar. I love miniature. So, you know, I liked the little clock. And then there's the little lamp. Um, our family. I'm not sure what I'll use the our family for. Maybe if I do a little something for my mother with like a picture, you know, in a frame or something of all of us. You guys know I love the mason jar stuff. So it's like with the mason jar. And I, I only use wooden spoons pretty much. I mean, I have plastic and stuff, too. But I love the wooden spoons. Uh, follow your arrow. I love this, you know, where it's just kind of with a little clothespin on it. Uh, look at the little house with a heart. I don't know if you guys have seen these, but I just wanted to show you guys because you know how fast that stuff goes. That way you can check in your Dollar Tree. So I had to buy three of those. And just in case I use some in pocket letters, I want to keep some for myself. It's funny, when I was a kid, you know, you would have a pocket, or a pocket, a sticker book, you know, and you'd put all your stickers. Now it's kind of like you don't want to ruin your stickers. <laughs> um, and then I found this one. It says, trust yourself. All things are possible if you believe. Believe in yourself. These are good for pocket letters. Believe you can and you're halfway there. Follow your dreams. Believe in yourself and don't give up. Believe in you. That's how... You make your dreams come true. Those are pretty. Like I said, I'm loving these pop-up stickers now, 3D stickers, whatever you want to call them. You know, they're good for pocket letters. Like I said, they add dimension and stuff, and they're good to send people to. Uh, and then I picked up... I've never seen these ones either. I've kind of seen this one on another set I have, the little the green bird, the bird cage. But this one has nature, says lovely, um, enjoy life. There's another, like, mason jar. With the flowers, that's so pretty. I want to stop back to the Dollar Tree on Monday, so I might buy some more just for the mason jar. That way, if I do, you know, another mason jar themed pocket letter, or I can still have one for myself. <laughs> and then I found these there too. I don't know if these are just. I don't know if these were from Valentine's because I'd never seen them there before, or if they're just, you know, for scrapbooking now, they just put them there. Um, I loved, of course, you know, I saw the coffee cup, teacup. I had to get it. You make me smile, sweet love, live, laugh, love, love, uh, be mine, love. A lot of these would be fine for pocket letters. The story of us. You know, that might be good with the family. You know, one that I just showed you guys if I do a family. And the last one is this. This one. Uh, I only saw one of these. I'm going to go, oh, I love, I didn't even realize. You know, when you only have 15 minutes, you're just kind of picking and grabbing because I wanted to make sure I got some new ones. <laughs> There's a thank you. I love the little friendship one. It looks like a little ticket. I thought those were so pretty. So, yeah. I might have to go back on Monday. Well, I'm going to go back. Oh, I didn't even see the little ladybug. Well, I saw the ladybug, but she's got like a little blue button on her. It's not a real button. It's just printed on there. But it's, I didn't, that's so cute. So, yeah. I want to go back Monday and see if they... I might... There's a few of these. I might get... A few more. <laughs> hey, you guys are the same. I watch your videos. I know. I've been learning. I've learned. I've seen the haul that Amy got. Amy's got a glue gun. Oh, I forgot to finish watching that because I was heading to work. So I was watching it before I was going to work. Uh, she went to that yard sale. She's sending me a package, she said, for my birthday, and there's some goodies in there. So hopefully I got some goodies from that yard sale. Hint, hint. <laughs> so yeah, that's. I just wanted to show you guys that stuff. And I wanted to thank the Dork in Shorts. <laughs> I love that name. Heather Baines. I wanted to thank you for this card and everybody else that said happy birthday. Um, 
Heather, you did not leave your birthday. Um, if that's something you want me to know, I didn't see it written in here anywhere or a note or anything. Because uh, I would lo love to return the favor and send you a card. Um, yeah, if you want to email me, um, my email is there. It's uh, underneath Gmail. I set that account up, the Gmail account, for YouTube. So it's, I always forget what it is. It's... Uh, it's underneath my about on my about section. It's DV Burlington three, I think at gmail.com, but you can find it there if you want me to know your birthday. If not, you know it's not a you know. But I like to return the favor and send you a card when it's your birthday, and maybe a pocket letter or whatever. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys and just chit chat, you know. Um. I think that's all. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys those stickers in case you're out tomorrow or whatever and wanted to stop to the Dollar Tree and see if they have any because some of those are really nice, you know. Um, I'm going to go to Michael's. Like I said, I want to stop to Michael's on Monday on my day off and I want to stop to Hobby Lobby. So I'll probably do another haul video if I find anything that's worth, you know, if I only find a couple things, I'm not going to get on and bother you guys with that unless I get my package from Amy because she said it might be here on Monday. So I will get on and make a video of that. So if I do pick up a couple things, I will. But I'm not going to get on and make a video because you guys will be like, woo, a two-minute video. So yeah, if I do, it's like I'll go over there. But anyways, I was just, I was going to say, it's like I doubt I'm going to find stickers like that, I mean, for a dollar. Maybe on clearance at Hobby Lobby and stuff. But, you know, it's dollar store. I've heard somebody saying, I forgot who it was, but Dollar Tree is stepping up their game it's like and they are with those stickers and stuff because you're you know uh, i think they're just as good quality if not you know some of them are better than michael's and stuff and you know how that is six seven dollars for you know it's crazy but anyway i'll stop blabbing because you guys didn't come on here to hear that so i want to like i said i just wanted to thank you guys um if you like my videos please subscribe give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below have a good night